All right, 11.02, how are we today? Uh, today for me is Sunday, or Saturday rather, recording this on the 11th. Um, so, uh, and you all will see it first thing Monday morning, the 13th. Uh, so we only have a few weeks left. Uh, this is going to be our 15th week here. And what I want you to do for this week, of course, what you have done for me as of you all seeing this video, you've done your... Uh, your in-class essay on Shakespeare's Sonnet 60. Uh, so I will grade that, have that back in no uh, more than a couple weeks' time. Uh, and you also have uh, the questions, uh, what we called our fourth quiz, those sonnet questions. There was the Milton sonnet, there was the Petrarch sonnet, and there was the Wordsworth sonnet, and there were questions uh, in the textbook with those. So it's Saturday. Um, uh, as of me filming this, it's uh, almost 10 o'clock a.m. And I don't have, I don't show that anyone submitted it yet. So hopefully those come in uh, by the deadline, Sunday, the 12th, by a minute before midnight. Let's turn to this week, okay? What I want you all to do this week is give me some evidence, show me some proof that you all have or are doing. Uh, that you have done or are doing research on your topic related to the play by Oscar Wilde, The Importance of Being Earnest, okay? Um, now, the assignment is called Database Research, okay? And all I ask you to do, so this is an assignment, so you could click it at the bottom there. And what I ask you to do is uh, three things. First, tell me what topic you're considering. So I'm kind of taking for granted by this time you all have read the play and have formed some kind of opinion about uh, the play. The play's characters, the play's themes, the play's setting, uh, any symbols or uh, anything like that uh, in the play, okay? Um, and remember, that's going to be your focus for your research, okay? So remember... This play is, it, it's, it's comedic, it's parodic, it's farcical, um, but we shouldn't dismiss it as just being some uh, joke fest, okay? Um, Wilde is trying to make a point in this play about his time in late Victorian England, okay? And if you want to know a little bit more about Victorian England, which we talked about in kind of broad brushstrokes, uh, over the past uh, couple months, or whenever it was, when we did that Matthew Arnold poem, Dover Beach, uh, I would recommend going to Wikipedia. And just, you know, Wikipedia is a good place for general information about big topics, okay? Victorianism, I would just type that in there. Maybe type in Oscar Wilde if you want to know a little bit of biographical information about him, okay? Um, and, and remember, uh, the example I give in the research paper description ditto, which again is in Files, Course Information, Main Course Folder, okay, if you want to know where it is. Um, I, uh, I'm, again, I like ideas. I like, I like themes, ideas, concepts. Uh, so to me, the concept of sincerity versus triviality, as it is, uh, manifested or demonstrated, illustrated in the play, that's what grabs my attention. And so to guide my research, I'm saying, well, why why is Oscar Wilde, through the characters of Algernon uh, Bunbury, Jack Worthington, uh, of course, Ernest, as we learn uh, at the very end there, uh, pardon me, uh, and uh, Lady Bracknell, there's the uh, the the, the two uh, love interests. Um, so what what you know th there are a lot of key uh, moments in in the play where they are telling you about their views of society, their views about men and women, relationships, um, what is proper, what is improper. But is is Wild poking fun at these things, or he might be he might be sincere in, in his play, okay? Maybe it's not such a farce, okay? Um, so, um, the what, what you do to look up some uh, articles, journal articles, uh, 
professional literary criticism, much like you did in 1101 when we did our MLA research paper. You go to library, the database is there, uh, and I would go to English and Literature. Click that and you'll have about five or six databases that are populated there. Uh, I give you an example of what I did. Now, I ask you to give me, in this assignment, three works cited citations, okay? You'll see one of mine uh, in the example here. Um, so I went to Bloom's Literature. That's the um, database I looked at, and it gives you a menu under that. I clicked Criticism, okay? You could click Criticism or Resources, um, but you're looking for... Uh, critical analysis, journal articles uh, devoted to the play. So if you see summary or something like that, that's not what you want, okay? So I click criticism and I came across the article, Wild as Paradist, a second look at the importance of being earnest by Richard Foster. Now this is my example. So to satisfy your own three, you need to pick your own original three, so don't use mine as one of yours, okay? Um, so that is, I give you the citation underneath. That's what I want you all to do, three of those, okay? But keep in mind, when you click citation in whatever database you're going uh, in and whatever article you choose, it's going to generate the citation, but it's not going to be in the completely correct format. If you look at mine, what it didn't do is give me my hanging indents, okay? So you might recall from 1101, your works cited entries on your works cited page, if you have a second, third, fourth, etc., etc. line, those need to be fashioned as hanging indents. Now in Word, that is achieved by clicking on the second line with your cursor, going to paragraph, uh, in, indent, okay, and there's a drop-down menu and you'll see hanging there. Click that and it'll... Uh, push it over for you, okay? Um, so that is what is on the table for this week. Also, things that you could look at now, um, our oral presentation is in fact going to be an oral presentation. You might say, well, how the heck are we going to do that? Well, I got the word that you all, uh, and by the way, we have a, an attachment in files, course information, main course folder. It's called OP, oral presentation. I recommend this week you guys look at that, okay? The oral presentation is going to be due. I, I kind of changed the due dates here. Uh, we had a, about a week more time than I had uh, anticipated. The oral presentation, which is called a recorded presentation, because you all have to either record yourselves, okay, like with your phone, your presentation. Again, look at the instructions in the OP uh, attachment, or you could use Canvas's studio option to actually record yourself visually, uh, audio visually, like I'm doing right now. Of course, this is being done on my phone, uh, and you could uh, you could do it that way. Okay, look at the OP section. Uh, ditto in files, course information, main course folder. Okay. It's going to be due by the 27th. That was our final exam schedule. Okay, so uh, we don't we're not uh, we, we don't have a final exam in this class. What we would have done is had our uh, our oral presentation that day, which would have been the twenty seventh. Okay, and it was scheduled from eight to ten a.m. So I have the recorded oral presentation due April twenty seventh. That's a Monday by ten a.m. Okay, and then the essay itself. I've pushed back a little bit. I'm trying to give you guys as much time as possible. It's going to be due Friday, or let's see here. Uh, yes, May 1st, which I believe is a Friday. Let's double check here. It might be, let's see. Yes, it's a Friday by 8.50 a.m., okay? So please have that due uh, by that time. Um... Uh, so that, that's the main things uh, this week, everybody. I will be grading uh, your work from uh, the previous week on your in-class essay, uh, on, uh, on your questions that we called the quiz, quiz four, on those uh, sonnets. 
Uh, and you all this week are going to be doing a little research. I'm kind of forcing your hand here. If you haven't looked at the play, read the play, well, by gum, you better start doing that, okay? Because you've got to give me evidence that you are researching this week, okay? And that is in Assignments Database Research, which is going to be due Sunday by April 19th, April 19th by 11.59 p.m., okay? Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, if you want me to be a little more uh, detailed in, in these video announcements, or, or if you want me to just individually talk to you, email you, uh, you're welcome to call me too, everybody. My, my number is 504-491-1180. It's in my email signature. If you want to call me, uh, give me a call, okay? Uh, and, you know, within a reasonable hour. And I'm happy to talk to you, okay, and give you any extra information you might need, okay? So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video. Uh, always email me or call me with any questions you might have, and I am happy to help you out. I hope you all have a good week 15. I hope you all are well, and I will talk to you again in another video next week. See you then.